Jakarta BNB Koi Center di kegiatan Visit Farm. Nah guys, kali ini kita akan mengunjungi koi farm yang berada di daerah Mitsubishi, Komakisi, Aichi, Japan. Kira-kira farm apa yang ingin kami kunjungi simak terus ya. Dan jangan lupa like dan subscribe channel BNB Koi Official. Oh iya BNB People, sebelum menuju koi farm, kita ada sedikit informasi nih tentang daerah Komakisi ini. Daerah yang berada di prefektur Aichi ini terkenal dengan Sumitomoriko yang merupakan perusahaan manufaktur produk karet dan resin sintetis global. Perusahaan ini yang memegang pangsa pasar global terbesar komponen anti getaran otomotif loh. Bukan hanya itu saja, daerah ini juga menjadi kota komuter dan tempat wisata yang beragam. Mulai dari tempat bersejarah seperti Museum Kastil Komaki, reruntuhan Kiln Shinoka, sampai taman seperti Shimin Shiki no Mori, Museum Seni Menard, dan masih banyak lagi. Wah, wow, tempat yang menarik ya BNB People. Oke okay, BNB People, kali ini kita akan mengunjungi Narita Koi Farm. Koi Farm yang sangat terkenal di kalangan pecinta koi loh. Narita Koi Farm ini juga sudah banyak memenangkan kejuaraan Koi Show loh. Salah satunya yang terbesar adalah kejuaraan All Japan Koi Show. Keren ya BNB People! Di Narita Koi Farm ini juga sangat banyak ikan koi yang sangat cantik dan besar-besar guys. Kalian bisa lihat nih, cantik-cantik kan? Oh iya guys, fun fact-nya. Ternyata Narita Koi Farm menangani pembelian koi lebih dari 50 koi farm terkenal di seluruh Jepang. Wow, mantep banget koi farm ini. Nah, buat lebih jelasnya lagi tentang Narita Koi Farm, kita akan mengajak owner dari Narita Koi Farm ini untuk bercerita mengenai farm ini sampai cara merawat ikannya guys. Yuk langsung aja kita bertemu dengan owner dari Narita Koi Farm. Halo, uh, this is Narita Koi Farm Narita. Uh, Ryuki Narita. Uh, our history, my farm history about 52 years old. Uh, we actually handling the koi show fish. Now we get the world grand champion is the uh, total 22 grand champion. Yeah. We always you know give the best koi to you. How many map points? We have a uh, seven map point in Niigata right now. Uh include the big and small about 110 pound. Yes. Yes, yes, now you know we always try to the, get the number one deer in the world, but uh, always, always challenger. We are challenger. Every year we buy the so many fish, but the grand champion is not very not easy to win and get the grand champion because you know so many breeder breeding every year. So many fish, but uh, only one fish in the year. So actually, you know, if you want to get a grand champion, maybe not only koi, relationship with breeder, you know, relationship with deer, everything. Of course, koi must be good, you know. But anyway, you know, don't forget the challenging mind of the future to get the grand champion. Actually, you know, now I, uh, after I start koi business for uh, nearly 30 years, I lost much money for koi. So, actually, I, many people ask me how to select a good koi, but uh, quite difficult to explain because, you know, this is a, uh, actually, uh, you know, when I bought a fish, by fish, this is most important, the first impression, you know, first impression. So, and also, we keep many fish for koi show. So, we can put, compare with uh, my fish. My fish means the koi in the, my farm and breeder fish. 
if breeder fish better than my farm fish, I can buy and challenge. But if you know not so good my fish, don't need to buy, right? So we can easy to compare with uh, good or not, you know, in my stock. You know. Yeah, yeah, of course, you know, water condition is the most important and also the, for the koi show is uh, temperature control. Né? Control must be temperature, control temperature. This is very important for the koi show. Yeah. For example, so okay. like a South Asia country, if you know, get a very clean, uh, very white skin, must fix chira, then can get the uh, white skin. If you know water temperature around 25, it's very difficult to get uh, white skin. So we always thinking about uh, water temperature. Yes. Uh, but it's very difficult because uh, many koi food in here, Japan. I think more than 30, 40 kind of the koi food. But uh, all koi food has a good point but uh, not 100%. So we just uh, try to the feed, try feed, and uh, challenge, uh, try food and uh, experience. Then we mix. This koi food is good for color. This uh, koi food is good for body, you know. Then we just mix together, you know. Color, our main food is the sake hikari. This is I uh, use about 50%. Then I use another 50 is uh, another brand koi food, yes. Like a JPD also I use, you know, Kenko Kan also I use, you know. Ah, uh, my entry? One show about 400 fish. Yeah, 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 12 BU to over 90 BU. All variety. No only go sanke. 400 to 500 pieces. Uh, I already told you, biological filter, I don't want to make uh, dirty. So I want to take out the dirty thing, the seed, you know, rubbish, everything for the, from the high pressure tank. Yes, that's all. Actually, we use underground water, the uh, water temperature is 18 degrees. So now, normally around two years old fish, I keep in the summertime 27 degrees. If over 27 degrees, I add the new water to control the 27. Yeah, but the big fish around over 80 cm, I think 25, 26 is uh, good for big fish. Hmm. Winter time. Winter time depends on the koi show. Use the heater. Yeah, of course you use the heater. How what's the how how uh, degrees that you maintain in the winter time? Depend on the koi because uh, some koi for koi show. So for growing, I use, I make a uh, 25 degrees for growing, but we must control size, low temperature. I think 18 degrees, you know, because uh, if high temperature growing fast. Right? and skinny. Okay, okay, if you become good dealer, please come to Naita Koi Farm and buy from us. Gimana BNB people? Sudah jelas bukan penjelasan dari Mr. Yuki Narita? Setelah ini, Mr. Yuki ingin mengajak kita untuk melihat dan menjelaskan isi dari lukisan yang ada di ruangan Narita Koi Farm ini. Hi, uh, this painting is uh, all koi, the uh, world champion fish. Uh, big size fish is our uh, all Japan koi show, and small size is uh, all Japan yang koi show. This is uh, from Sakai Fish Farm. This is uh, my first grand champion, I hungry. And this is the Dainichi Toyota, Kinsen. And this is the uh, latest grand champion, uh, Mariama. Koi, and this is a very famous fish, Dainichi Showa, Sakura. And this, this is also Sakai, 
fish farm from my Jumbo Tosa event. And this one is a uh, Dainichi also. And also I explained to the Yang Koisho Grand Champion. This one is Sakai, three years old. This one Dainichi fish. This one male fish, but the uh, Grand Champion. Get the uh, All Japan Yang Koisho Grand Champion. This is Sakai fish. This is Momotaro. This is uh, Yang Koisho Grand Champion. And Sakai, Sakai. This is Kondo, Kondo fish farm. And that Sanke is uh, Sakai also. This one Sekiguchi. That one is a Showa. And this one also Sakai. Yes. Wow, bagus banget ya BNB people. Jadi pengen buat murah yang sama di office BNB. Meledak. Gak kerasa ya kita sudah di akhir segmen nih BNB People. Kunjungan tim BNB Koi Center di Narita Koi Farm ini sangat menyenangkan. Kita dimanjakan dengan tampilan Narita Koi Farm yang kekinian dan terkesan modern dengan fasilitas yang lengkap. Manjiu, mantap jiwa! Terima kasih sudah mengikuti kita di Narita Koi Farm. Karena masih banyak koi farm di Jepang yang akan kita eksplor dan pastinya akan seru-seru juga guys. Dan ada konten menarik lainnya di BNB Koi Official. Jangan lupa subscribe, like, dan komen di Youtube BNB Koi Official. Dan juga follow media sosial kita di TikTok, Instagram, dan Facebook. Satu lagi, kita ada WhatsApp grup nih guys untuk para pecinta koi. Sampai jumpa di video selanjutnya. Bye bye. Di NB Koi Center, good luck and prosperity. Hai, BNB Koi Center. Gambate. We support. Thank you very much.